fits this city power. What God has given you, nobody else can do what you're doing here in this city. Columbus is, is really for you, and we thank God for what God is doing with you here. Amen. Um, Mr. Minister Niado said something that um, made me think as well. He said that there was a time when he used to come and lead um, praises, and he would come to rehearsals, and Pastor Jay, uh, or what she would say, Pastor Bro, would come and see that he can sense that the man is under the influence of something. It's not the Holy Ghost, but it's something else. And he said that, but he still allowed him because Pastor Jay could see something inside of Minister Nyado. And that's the same thing that God sees in us. That even in our sins and even in the things that we go through and the things that we do, God doesn't say, y'all put the mic down. But he says, what I did on the cross 2,000 years ago has paid the cost already. So I just want to encourage somebody here. If you feel like your sin that you committed years ago, let me tell you, if Paul could be used, if Yahweh say Wusu can be used, then you too, you can be used. I want to share this testimony about a pastor. He said there was a day he was praying and he said that God told him to do Bible study 6 p.m. every Sunday. 6 p.m. every Sunday. And he said he didn't understand why the Holy Spirit told him to do it. But he grabbed his neighbor and he said, his, sorry, his roommate. And he said, let's do Bible study 6 p.m. every Sunday. So they were doing it consecutively. One Sunday, the neighbor called the police. And at that time, this pastor did not have his documents. So they knocked on his door. And they said that we have a report that there's noise that is being made in your apartment. And he's like, oh, what we're doing, we're just doing Bible studies, we're just chilling. And then he said he noticed his accent, and he was one of Donald Trump's people, so they were ready to deport him right away. He said, do you have your documentations? And at that time, his passport had expired, no proof of being a legal resident in America. So he said he didn't know what to do. He didn't know if to do Kung Fu or to fight the past. The police officer don't come in. The police officer said, can I come in? And he said, you know what? Just come in. When the police officer was following him to go and get the passport and his documents, the police officer saw the Bible sitting there. And he said, you know what? He told his partner, you know what? Let's leave them alone. They're doing Bible studies. Let's just go. Now, when the Holy Spirit says, do something, my friend, don't ask any questions. But just do it. For you do not know what God is up to. For he sees our beginning and he sees our end. And if you think I'm lying about this story, this pastor is standing right here. He's the one that this story happened to. And that story reminds me that sometimes we become too proud in the presence of God. And we forget what God has done for us. But all we have to do is think and look at who we are today. Can the strings come up? Who we are today. And we can see that God has done well with us. Now would in my bedroom. I am your fellow. Now I am a man. I promise you I say you so. It's in the power me. Now I am a say. Yeah, yeah. Wash is a 
remember what God has done for you. Hey, La Patria. Oh, yeah. 
Say, just say, I am. 